Hey, 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 Superior Shave fans, how's it doing on the theoretical day of your observation? Uh, let's not forget those other humans that are not Superior Shave fans, how you doing too? Uh, it's just another day that ends in Y with a soaking wet right arm. All of them, right? Okay, well, anyway, uh, what we're going to do is shave, like all the other damn times, and uh, let's get some Osma pre-shave oil. You know, I don't like this other, the Osma soap that doesn't have the olive in it. I maybe used it five times. But it does smell with the same family smell as the Osma pre-shave oil, which smells amazing. And, um, and the Osma splash and balm. And uh, those things are a little miniature license to print money. They have extreme loyalty followings. Uh, the brush I'm going to use is this beautiful Volfix. Uh, this is a 375 in silver tip. So you may know the story. Simpsons had to sell out to a man in Brooklyn who makes his living dumping everything on Amazon. And of course, he's going to have more money than me because he can do something like that and everybody buys on Amazon. Well, you know, I did buy from them for 12 years and still had $10,000 or more on my shelf when I suddenly started seeing... Um, retail prices on Amazon for brushes that I had just bought that were less than than I had just paid Simpson. So we broke off everything and um, I was going to give them the domain that I took, simpsonsbrushes.com, but they ghosted me. What I will do is say that I love their brushes still. Uh, this is the silver tip, so this is like Simpsons Super Badger. And as Volfix goes, you know, generally if it says Volfix, the, the handiwork and the machining of the handle, all that stuff is the same quality. They don't they don't stamp and um, they don't engrave the handle and put pigment on it, but the lathing and stuff is all the same. They just use a little stamper. Um, and then for the hair, generally the, the hair quality will be the same between the two, whether it says Super or Silver Tip for Volfix would be the same as Best and, and Super for Simpsons. But for any given brush model, the amount of hair that's in the brush handle will weigh more for the Simpsons and they generally put it in deeper. And that just means that it doesn't move around as much and you feel more of the pleasant scrub. Uh, but on the Volfix Silver Tips, which we've sold them all, I think, or maybe there's one or two, um, but the Volfix Silver Tips ones, they're actually pretty dense as far as hair strands per unit of area. Maybe a little bit high in the setting, but uh, I only have one Silver Tip Volfix, and it's the... Um, 2233, three, which is the smaller model of the other style of handle. So uh, I've used this one to play with without putting it on my face while I'm trying to get the smell out of it. And I feel like the smell is out now, so I want to give it a whirl with that nice soap. The razor I'm going to use is the Focus Tri Talk uh, R. This is the Concave. So this is the R62, the very aggressive razor. And the reason I'm using this razor today is because my very good friend, Mr. RJP of Middle Florida, he knows who he is, uh, he has this razor and he hasn't been able to use it well because he doesn't know jack shit about using a safety razor. Sorry, RJP. I know you know a lot about business and I'll listen to you every time, but when it comes to this domain, yeah, that's not your domain. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use this one correctly. Um, these are extremely unique razors in terms of the angle of the blade relative to the stretcher and relative to where the handle is. And what you have to do is, uh, I'm going to take the blade out while I'm explaining this part because I don't want to get a cut. What did I have in there? Mm, looks like it's a Zaza. I don't think I use it very much, so I'll try using it again. Why not? Um, so this part, hopefully he, he's not doing that. I, I certainly hope he isn't doing that. Let's see if it goes together that way. Well, shit, it does go together that way. Okay, so RJP, you don't put it together this way. It's got to go together like that, okay? And the key with this razor is this little flush, this little bevel part here that you see from, from there to there, for, actually from this ridge to where the guard bar is. You need to have all of that flush to skin. So you can't have, if you have some daylight in there and you're doing it like this, like people that use a modern cartridge razor, they're always taught to yank by the handle. With this razor, you gotta like push from the top like you're playing shuffleboard. And so you gotta get that part flush. That thing's gotta be all the way flush. You can't have daylight in there or you're not aligning the, 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 the angle at which this will cut is so narrow, that's what makes it so special. So it, if, you, if you have it too much like this, you'll immediately get on this part and you won't have a cut. 
and if you go a little bit too much like this and there's some daylight in between there, you'll also take the tension so far onto this bar that you wouldn't be able to cut the cut. It has to be flush. So that little bevel is there as a guide. And what I do is I just push in and go down and just keep on pushing in. And I'm always thinking about where is that part right there? Where is that part right there? So I hopefully don't need you to watch me do the lathering a million times. But uh, let's get started. So after the next cut, we'll have the lather getting on my face there. Man, they can make a nice smell, can't they? Actually, I didn't do that good job of uh, defunking and stuff with my brush cleanser because hairs are still coming way out. So I just got to put a boot on the ground and actually use the thing for its intended purpose uh, with or without that wet dog in need of a wash smell. It is a natural product, after all. <laughs> This is very natural. I do intend to come down to where you live, RJP. And when I go down there, I'm going to make you get out of your house and come to a hotel on that. And then I'm going to sit there and shave your face with your razor in front of you so you could know how to do it. Because that razor is a bad mother. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let me see if I could, uh, I don't need to look so I can just uh, go by the feel. Specifically, this stainless steel version of this head razor is, for me, the second closest one-pass shave razor of a modern production that I have used. And the number one would be the famous original model Mula uh, R41. When I'm seeking that bevel, I tend to favor toward the top. Uh, because if you do that, you're not going to get any irritation. If you have some daylight in between, and you haven't gone too far this way, you'll get irritation, uh, and you'll st it'll still shave. When you do it the other, when you miss, when you miss the other way, it just doesn't cut. And this blade's probably a month or something, I don't know. The meter with the oxidation here in Florida. I'm sure if we looked at that blade in the microscope, it's awfully thin, but it's none too fresh. I just want to make the point how good this razor is for a one pass plus touch up type shave. It, it pulls them off so well when I wet my face and look around for something else to get. A lot of times there's just nothing else to get that you're not going to get an irritation to try to get it. This is an expensive razor. It's $180. It's 100% made in Milan, Italy. So, you know, the labor cost, the engineering, those are high overheads, but it's a wonderful razor. It's really grown on me, I must admit. Hated the aluminum version, but this nice heavy one, it's great. Not the best at this, using the safety razor a lot better than the straight razor. I cut myself on the chin.
uh, with the flathead version of this razor, which is R61 in stainless steel. I, I don't think I've ever cut myself even once, but it can't, it doesn't have any chance to do in one pass what this can do. What makes that one special is you can go over and over the same places and not get irritation because the angle is so low and the stretcher is so far ahead. It really has this tremendously narrow range of, of applicable action. And now I'm going to try to look around for something to catch. I just want a little bit more closeness along the ridge line of my jaw. Okie dokie, now I'm going to rinse off and put the uh all of the stone on my face and uh, splash. And let's keep it in the family and uh, use some of that wonderful uh, smelling stuff they have. This is it. It's normal for it to come out like that yellow. That's why they changed the container to opaque. It does not mean it's oxidized or anything. I don't know. It just always is yellow. All right, we're at uh, 4.37. Let's see you in about 5.05. I would say for a 1.3 pass shave, it feels really close on a four days of growth. So I'll see you in a bit after I do some editing. Well, it's uh, 5.17 and I'm using the obfuscation method to combat my cackling hens that never shut the fuck up outside. But um, yeah, it's, it did its one pass uh, miracles up here. Like all this area, I basically just went with the grain. I didn't go across or backwards up here and it's amazingly close. I mean, <laughs> uh, a, little, a little not as sharp, as close as I can get with the straight razor right here and here. Uh, it's just getting harder and harder to get that spot. It's, it's, it's a scary spot to shave without, uh, without risk once you get old, like me. But uh, well, it was a good shave and uh, I don't know why. I don't know why the stainless version, I do not feel the irritation during the action like I did with the aluminum version of it because the geometry is the same. I guess when the material is different, you know, the, your balance, whatever, something like that. But in any case, I, I do find that razor to be a pleasant razor that I would be happy to have in my collection if I didn't do this for a living. Well, there we go. Okay. See you next time, okay? And um, if you have mental health issues in your life and you have people around you that love you, please get help. Thank you. Bye-bye.